Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Ray. Today we are looking at a fretboard visualization app. I'll put the URL in the description below. On the bottom of the screen we have the fretboard going from fret 0 or the nut to fret 24. On the top line we have the first string or the highest string. The bottom we have the sixth or low string. All the notes of the scale are highlighted on the fretboard. At the moment we are looking at the note names, but we can switch to the degrees of the scale by clicking on any of the white areas on the screen. The roots are red, the third is yellow, the fifth is green, the seventh is blue, and degrees 2, 4 and 6 are light grey. We can choose to highlight only 1, 3 and 5, 1 and 5, 1 or nothing. Or we can look at the roots of the major and minor chords. Orange being the major chords, cyan being the minor chords, and dark blue being the diminished chord. This map of the fretboard allows you to see what voicings are possible for different chords in the scale. Right now we are looking at the key of C, the major scale, Ionian mode. We are on standard tuning and we are highlighting 1, 3, 5 and 7. In the top right we have the typical triads and 7th chords available on the major scale. They are denoted as follows. On the top line we have the modal reference for the chord. Below that is the Nashville notation, which is a Roman numeral where the capital denotes a major and the lowercase denotes a minor chord. Below that is the seventh, a triangle is a major and a dash is a minor. For example, on the first chord we have a major triad because it's a capital I and a major seventh because it's a triangle. The second chord is a minor chord, it's lowercase. It's got a minor triad and a minor seventh. If you look at the fifth chord, it's a major triad and a minor seventh. This is a dominant seventh chord. Let's go back to the root and change to the Aeolian mode. This is also known as the minor scale. You'll see at the top we have kept the reference to the mode. So this is the sixth modal chord, which is a minor chord. It's got a minor triad and a minor seventh. The third degree of the Aeolian scale is a major triad and a major seventh. This is actually the first Ionian chord. This is the first chord of the Ionian scale. That's why there's a one Io at the top. Let's go back to the Ionian mode. Now there is a special pentatonic switch over here. What it does, it hides the 4th and the 7 degrees of the scale which gives you the pentatonic scale. If we are on the Aeolian mode, and let's go to the relative minor which is A, you get the minor pentatonic scale. Alright, we also have some other scales in here, the melodic ascending minor and the harmonic minor. You can have a look at those. Now you can switch between a couple of different guitar tunings and see what the effect is on the pattern of the fretboard. Let's go to just the roots to be highlighted and have a look at the patterns. Here you'll see there's a cluster of four notes that doesn't repeat on the first and second strings. There is a step to the right for these. If I go to fourth tuning You'll see that step disappears and now everything is symmetrical. Go back to standard tuning and there's a step again. That's because in standard tuning there is a major third step between the second and third strings. All the other strings have got a perfect fourth step between them. So go and have a look at the different tunings. See if uh, there's a particular one that you like. I am partial to fourths. And that, I think, covers all the important points. Now go and play 
and let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe. May the fourths be with you. Ah, you're still here. Well, good thing too, because I forgot to put this in the main video. Now, if your guitar is tuned to anything other than E, then what you can do is select any other fret on the fretboard to make the fretboard start at that fret. And that is the quick tip.